But Robbie couldn't really ask for a better response from the players after the weekend. Yeah, uh, it's strange because it's not as if we were looking for a response because of a bad performance. Because yeah. Saturday we were excellent. Say the game was taken away from us from a few controversial decisions. But tonight it was a potential banana skin because I was expecting us to turn over Brecon. We've beaten them twice already this season. Expecting the same again. Um, and we said to the players they had to be up for it, had to be sharp, don't get complacent. We got caught out early, we were lucky, yeah. got a warning, got away with it. Could have been a completely different mood had that gone in. And then we settled down, you know, we've, we've scored uh, four corner kicks against Brecon. We scored another two times because we worked on it, we knew there was a threat there yeah. that we could get. Um, and we went about our business in the right way, we got the two goals, and it became, you know, it was a war of attrition. Brecon sat in, we were trying to play through them. Uh, we were trying to move the ball quick, we couldn't. It was a glue pot yeah. surface, there was water lying on the pitch from Saturday and it was very difficult for the players to, to move it as quickly as they could. Plus, it was a very tiring surface, you know, and you, you've got guys like, you know, Charlie Trafford coming tonight, he's not played for a while. Um, you've got Joe Charles, who's put in a lot, he looked tired, start to look tired. Polly was still trying to go, they were trying to drive through it yeah. and it was difficult, but um, they stuck at it. And we said that, you know, we get now a couple of goals and make it easy on yourselves and then we didn't quite get them at the times we wanted but um, in the end you can't complain, I mean a 4-0 win uh, on a surface like that after what they gave on Saturday as well is, is, is pleasing. A lot gets made in the game in general about strikers scoring goals or not scoring goals or, or, or whatever but I mean it must be great to see you know your strikers on the arm getting goals from elsewhere. Yeah well we've said that all along we've got 30 odd goals this season you know and, and we've spread them out. You know, the defenders have scored at set plays, the full backs have both scored, our midfield players have scored and, and our strikers have been chipping away but you know tonight we said that it was, you could see the delight for, for John Baird, you could see the delight the players had for John because they understand how hard he works and you know whilst strikers are, are judging their goals there's also a, a shift that they've got to put in to be a focal point for the team and, and the boys know that that's what John does first and foremost and he's been unlucky, you know, it's, there's a lot of, you know, he's, he's had a few bad misses, he understands that but there's a hell of a lot of good saves and he's been unlucky and, uh, and same with Connor, Connor was as quiet as he's been tonight, uh, I, don't, I didn't think Connor was at his best but he gets his goal and he had a couple of de decent efforts and then obviously George has been champion at the bit and for him to come on and score a goal will give him a a boost in our confidence as well. So we knew tonight we had to make changes a wee bit earlier than normal because you know Baird and Bell and Mulraney, Chalmers, uh, Colworth, uh, Tomarco, Raven have all put in a shift. Yeah. But obviously we can't substitute all of them. So we had to we had to look at the forward areas where we thought we could get a, get against a tie and breaking side um, who obviously you know in the second half shut up shop to make sure they, they didn't come on the end of a hammer. Charlie Trafford's come on the middle of the park there for Vigers, who was suspended tonight, and you know, and he's, and he's done well. I mean, it must be great to start having competition for. Well, that's that's what we are. You know, we've you know, I've just had a conversation with Gary there as well. He's he's disappointed that he, he didn't play tonight, um, and you know, that's the toughest decision we've had to make all season. Um, we've got all our players back. You know, we, we we thought Gary played well on Saturday. Does he keep his place? Um, we felt tonight that. It was, opportunity to give the lads who'd had seven clean sheets in a row to, to play um, and it was a really tough tough on Gary and, he, and he's disappointed with that but he understands why we've done it um, and that was the aspect of it, Charlie's the same, Charlie's come in tonight and he's, he's done well, um, He's he, he wasn't as sharp as normal because he hasn't played for a while, that's obvious um, and that now gives the decision Saturday because Vigers is back from suspension so you know these, this is, at, at times sometimes when you've got suspensions and injuries and it's easy to pick your team and pick your subs, but now we're having to leave players out. I mean, tonight, Matt Elson missed out and Zach Elbazidi missed out tonight. Um, you know, we, it's difficult for Zach at the moment because we can't get games. We can't get our friendlies against the Highland League teams. There's nobody to play. So it's very difficult to get up the match back to City requires, but he's, he's getting there slowly. Arden got a wee bit longer tonight, a game which will help him. Um, we need more, the surface didn't, but the, the game time did. So we're now starting to get a squad back, but you know, obviously in January we've you know, we'll lose players in January, um, two or three. Um, so it's a question of you know, bringing maybe one or two in and keeping the squad tight because what we do have as well is a, we have a raft of young players who can certainly help us through as well. Yep. And we head off uh, south, coming to the south at the, at the weekend there, a uh, bit of a journey, you know, options are fresh legs. Yeah, well, the, the, the good thing about it is that we're going to a, a national turf pitch, so the ball will move quickly and sharper, and you know you won't have the heavy conditions that we faced the last two games. And they've had a tough night tonight down in Dumbarton as well, so they'll they'll have had a game. So there's no advantage in terms of, of fatigue, um, but it's a surface that if we zip the ball about like we did down at, uh, yeah. at Falkirk, uh, we've certainly got players that, that can hurt the opposition. But uh, it'll be a tough game. 
It was a tough game here, it was a tough game down there, but it's a game that we can look forward to confidence and as I say, we've we've decided now to, the guys will be in for recovery tomorrow, we'll, get, we'll give them a, a Thursday off because I think you know, we can't, and these glue pot can certainly, you know, we can't go to Fort George and train them in the, the water and the mud. We'll do a bit of work on AstroTurf on Friday and make sure the players are as fresh as possible because we've got a long journey down there on Friday evening um, and we want to be ready for that game. That's good, John. Thank you very much. Thank you.